today we are going to discuss about engineering cows in which the very important cow is hypocycloid with normal and tangent so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe so let's take one example a circle of 60 mm diameter rolls along the circumference of the another circle of 160 mm diameter from inside so i have used the particular different color that is a very important another circle that means directing circle having 160 mm diameter draw the path of a point on the circumference of the rolling circle for one complete revolution name the cow draw a tangent and normal to it at a point 40 mm from the center of directing circle so first let's try to understand the description with the help of the figure so what is given to you a circle of 60 mm diameter rolls along the circumference of another circle so let's see this is the directing circle having radius 80 mm or you can say diameter 160 mm and inside this directing circle 60 mm diameter rolling circle so this is the rolling circle having diameter 60 mm rolls inside the directing circle so another circle that means this is the directing circle and inside the directing circle the rolling circle rolls and we want to draw the path of a point that is on the circumference of the rolling circle so this is the rolling circle and this is the circumference of the rolling circle on which we have to assume one point p and we want to draw the path of that p point when the rolling circle rolls inside of this directing circle so if we assume that the rolling circle rolls in anti clockwise direction then it will complete one revolution and it will reach over here so let's assume that this is the rolling circle and this is our focus point p that is on the circumference of the rolling circle now we are going to see a very interesting matter that is the path traced out by this point so look at carefully that this path that is generated by the point which is on the circumference of the circle that is known as hypocycloid so this curve or this path that is traced out by this point that is known as hypocycloid so here in the description that name of the curve and this is the name of the curve hypocycloid so we have seen the concept of the hypocycloid now we are going to draw the same hypocycloid with step by step and at the end we will see the normal and tangent also that is 40 mm from the center of the directing circle so first take the o as the center and draw the directing circle having radius 80 mm because that is given to you in your description the diameter of the directing circle is 160 mm and assume that this is the rolling circle that rolls inside of this directing circle and the diameter of the rolling circle is also given to you as 60 mm so you can assume the initial position of the rolling circle is over here now the very important part that what is actually the end position of the rolling circle for the hypocycloid so in case of epicycloid and hypocycloid you have to find the angle theta and this is a formula to find the angle theta is equal to r by r into 360 where small r is the radius of the rolling circle and capital r that is the radius of the directing circle so from the symbol at least you can understand small r is the small radius capital r is the big radius so in our description that is given to you small r that is the radius of the rolling circle that is 30 mm capital r is the radius of the directing circle that is also given to you as 80 multiplied by 360 so you will get the angle 135 and so that 
135 divided by 2 on the left side of this vertical line and 135 divided by 2 that is on the right side of the vertical line. So the total angle is 135 and it is equally divided on both side that is 135 by 2 and 135 by 2 and so that you can locate the end position of the rolling circle. So this is the initial position of the rolling circle for hypocycloid and this is the end position of the rolling circle for hypocycloid. Now through the line that is normal to this line as well as passing through the center of the rolling circle and then divide it into the toil equal part with the help of the protector. and give the name as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 but where you can start 0. So you have to assume that the rolling circle rolls in the anti-clockwise direction so that this is the initial contact point of rolling circle and directing circle. So give the name as 0 and then this point will touch to the directing circle so that it will be 1 then 2 point will be touch over here so that you have to give the numbering in the clockwise direction. Then draw the arc passing through all these points with O as the center. So with the help of the compass, we have to set the radius O6, draw the arc with O as the center. Then set the radius as O7, O7, draw the arc passing through the point 7 and center O. Similarly, you can understand. So each and every time for all these R, the center is O. But your radius is O6, then O7, then O8, O9, O10, O11 and O0. You have to keep in mind that this R must be passed from 11 as well as 1. Similarly, this R must be passed from the 10 as well as 2. Similarly, this arc must be passed from the 9 and 3. Similarly, this arc must be passed from the 8 and 4. Similarly, this arc must be passed from 7 and 5. Now, draw the center arc. So, for that, you have to draw the arc with O as the center and radius equal to O to this center. Now, you have to divide this 135 angle into 12 equal parts and that you can do with the help of the protector but here the angle is 135 if it is 120 then definitely you can divide it with the help of the protector easily but if it is 135 then you have to follow the bisecting method and so that you can divide it into the trial equal part with the help of the compass and give the name as C0, C1, C2, C3, C4 C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11 and C12 on the center arc. So I have used the different symbol for the center arc because of you know that it will pass from the center of the circle. Now assume that initially your point P0 is over here at 0 point. Then take compass, set radius equal to the half of the rolling circle and then C1 as the center, C1 as the center and draw the arc on the arc which is passing through the one point. So you have to draw the arc over here on this arc which is passing through the point number one. So this is the arc and look at the intersection point as P1. Now next with the same radius but your center is C2. So your center is C2. Draw the arc on the arc which is passing through the point number 2. That means on this arc. And mark the point as P2. Similarly, C3 is now center. Draw the arc on the arc which is passing through the point number 3. That means on this arc. Now you can understand. C4 will be the center. Same radius. Draw the arc on the arc which is passing through the point number 4 that means on this arc. Now C5 is the center draw the arc on the arc 
passing through the point number 5. Then for P6, you have to draw the circle which will cut over here on the center line P6. Now C7 as the center. Draw the arc. On the arc which is passing through the point number 7. That means on this arc. Similarly, C8 is the center. Draw the arc. C9 is the center. Draw the arc. C10 is the center. Draw the arc. On the arc which is passing through the point number 10. That means on this arc. Similarly, C11 is the center. And then at last, P12 is over here. Join all the points with a smooth curve so that you will get hypocycloid. So look at carefully. So this is your hypocycloid. So we have completed the first part and now we are going to draw the normal and tangent. Now we want to draw, now we are going to draw the normal and tangent and in the description it is given to you that draw the normal at a point on the hypocycloid which is 40 mm from the center of the directing circle. So this is actually the center of the directing circle. So from the O 40 mm away and it must be on the hypocycloid. So take the compass, set the radius as 40 mm, draw the arc on this hypocycloid with O as the center. So very simple O as the center with the help of the compass you have to draw the arc on the hypocycloid and give the name as V. Now once again set the compass as radius of the ruling circle and this is in our description as 30 mm. So set the radius of the compass as 30 mm. Draw the arc on the center line with V as the center. So V as the center radius equal to 30 mm. Draw the arc on the center R. So you can give the name as Q as the intersection point. Now join OQ and extend it up to the directing circle. Join and V that will represent as normal. Now draw a line which is perpendicular to the normal as well as passing through the V with the help of the protector that will represent as tangent. So this is your next part normal and tangent at point V that is 40 mm from the center of the directing circle. So now once again look at the concept of the hypocycloid. So this is your rolling circle focus over here the black point that is the point on the circumference of the rolling circle. Now look at how the hypocycloid is generated. to understand the description so that in the examination you can draw the hypocycloid easily. So thanks my dear friends.